Today we are visiting two of the coolest temples in Chiang Rai, Thailand. This thing looks crazy. We visited several temples in our Thailand travels so far, but honestly, none of them look like these ones. These guys are completely unique. Let's go. We're Jill and Hana. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Our first stop today is the White Temple, so we just gotta take a 30 minute ride on the public bus to get there. The oh, it's a little bit cool, but very simple. They're so cute. This is definitely a blue bus. Yeah. The blue bus is taking us to the white temple. Not the blue temple, that's for later. This thing looks crazy. Yeah, wow. So most if not all of the temples we visited in Thailand so far have been several centuries old. So I was really surprised to learn that this one actually started being built in 1997, which makes it the same age as us. It was created by a Thai artist who spent a lot of his own money to make it, and he used the white color to represent the Buddha's purity. This thing is like straight up art. There's no other way to describe it. I thought other temples were like very intricate. They don't hold a candle to this one as far as like how much detail there is just on the awesome, outside yeah. of it. I feel like my eyes like cannot comprehend how much detail I'm seeing from far away. There's just so much going and on. it's just so beautiful. The pure white is like incredible and there's like all of this like glass and mirrors on it and stuff that's mm -hmm. reflecting the sun. I've literally never seen anything like it in my life. Yeah, it's really cool. So from farther away, I thought that this section was some like tree root kind of sculpture going on before you get to the bridge. But once we got closer, I could tell it wasn't um, tree roots. Something a little more sinister than that, actually. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to film or photograph inside of the temple, so if you want to see what's in this beautiful place, I guess you have to come here yourself and find out. We'll tell you about it though. Yeah, we'll tell you. <laughs> inside of that temple was as unique and amazing as the outside, but in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. There were murals covering all of the walls, and it wasn't what you would expect out of a regular temple. No, not at all. On one end, there was a Buddha, and that end represented Buddha, heaven, all of those things. And on the other side, there was this giant mural of all of these modern characters, like Kung Fu Panda, Harry Potter, Darth Vader. Vader, Yoda, what superheroes. Else was it? Superheroes. There's Converse. As well as the Twin Towers with a plane flying towards them, an erupting volcano. Lots of like guns. Missiles, bombs. Yeah. And this entire side was supposed to represent the good and bad of the human realm. As you go from one side of the temple to the other, you get farther away from the human realm and closer to the Buddha. And you see images more representing peace and prosperity. There's these images of groups of people like floating on clouds heading towards the side of the temple that has the Buddha. It was very, very interesting. Like very, very heavy symbolism in there for sure. It's definitely hard to describe without being able to show y'all any like images of it. You'll just have to come here and see it for yourself if you really want to know what it's all about. I think it's definitely worth it. It's like amazing and beautiful. The end. Just kidding. Not the end. Watch <laughs> the video. End of rant about beautiful temple. It looks 
so cool. It's like little metal leaf things. We just walked a little bit past the temple onto the rest of the grounds and it's so cool. You can really tell this whole place was made by an artist. There's all these cool waterfalls, more ninja turtles for some reason, and mm -hmm. little animal sculptures and stuff. It's just really, really pretty. It is pretty. And really interesting. There's this little thing over here called the Cave of Art. I couldn't help myself. We paid a hundred baht to go in. <laughs> Got a very mystical feeling. I kind of feel like I'm at Disney World or Universal. Like waiting in line for a ride. Oh my gosh, yeah. The music and the lighting. I think we've exited the ocean area and gone into the spooky area. out of the spooky realm and into the realm of Buddha. Are you being a fish? You gotta swim out. <laughs> I love their jeans. Twins! And then there's a gift shop at the end. It is Disney World. That was awesome. I'm that glad was, we went in there. That was really cool. Was like, this is the bathroom. Fanciest toilets in Thailand. People are literally taking pictures here. Was it all you ever dreamed it would be? Uh, the toilet itself was not golden, but the walls and the ceiling and then the door and everything else was, so it's pretty good. How dare they? I know. No golden throne for me. Next stop is the Blue Temple. One last tuk-tuk ride in Thailand. It just occurred to me here on this tuk-tuk ride that this is our last day in Thailand. Feeling quite sentimental. We left home and we spent an entire month in Thailand and it almost feels like we kind of just moved to Thailand. <laughs> Even though we've been jumping around so much. True. We've gotten really comfortable here. And I'm just sad that it's over. But excited for new things. I'm gonna miss that Thai food though. Oh my gosh. That curry. So much. Anyway, enough of my sap. You're so sappy. So sappy. Our hair always gets so tangled after a tuk-tuk ride. <laughs> so the Blue Temple was actually created by a student of the artist who created the White Temple. I guess that's where the color theme is coming from. And the blue is supposed to symbolize purity, wisdom, and lack of materialism. In Thai, the name of this temple means Temple of the Dancing Tiger. An ancient temple once stood here, and it's said that once that temple was abandoned, wild tigers roamed the grounds. And tigers just happen to be my favorite animal. I wish there was some here now. He's right there. See him? What do you want to show me? Oh, the babies. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at them. They look so happy and chunky. The temple's pretty cool too. It's definitely a different vibe with the blue and gold, but I dig it. It feels less... Glamorous? Yeah, a little less glamorous, a little more... What am I thinking? What is she thinking? What am I thinking? Somebody tell us in the comments, what is Hana thinking? <laughs> Does anybody know? <laughs> I sure don't. It feels more like a temple. I mean, actually, yes. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. It feels more like a temple. Unless like some big, glamorous, shining white piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still incredibly artistic. Yes, it's still beautiful. This is pretty cool in here too. Look how tall the ceiling is. And everything is like a painted mural.
temple is so beautiful. You'd think that after seeing a handful of temples, it would get old, but honestly, every single one we've been to has been just so unique. I think I need a temple break after this, but these two are two of the best. Correction from earlier, this is our last Tuk Tuk ride in Thailand. Oh yeah, what do you want your final meal in Thailand to be? Well, it's gotta be Thai food for sure. <laughs> my favorites lately so maybe I'll try something new. I'm just gonna walk around the night bazaar and eat street food. All I ever wanted. We're ending our time in Thailand the same way we started it. Wandering around at night looking for food. Mm, the smoothies in Thailand are unbeatable. I've probably ranted about this enough already. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. I don't have anything to say. That's okay. <laughs> Look at the tiny bike. Why is it so tiny? She found the dried fruit. Yes. It's all over for my wallet. The Chiang Rai night market is popping. Everybody is feasting out here. There's so much food. How am I supposed to pick anything to eat? Impossible. We got some stir-fried morning glory, which is basically a plate of stir-fried greens. We've seen it on menus everywhere in Thailand and we have yet to try it. And we got some grilled pork with kimchi and a raw egg on rice. I don't know if that's Thai, but it looked good. Uh-oh, there go the food dance. You know it's good when the food dance comes out! I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have any egg on that bite though, so I still gotta try that. Morning Glory. She look healthy. Not bad for a big old plate of green stuff. The night is not complete without some mango and coconut ice cream. This mango ice cream is so good. There's literally like pieces of mango in it still. It's so fresh. I don't even usually eat fruity ice creams and mm, this is incredible. It's so refreshing. We almost didn't even come to Chiang Rai before leaving Thailand, but I'm really glad that we did. Both of the temples we saw today were really cool. The White Temple was especially awesome, and to be honest, even this ice cream makes it worth coming here for, so it was a good day. It's been a great last day in Thailand. We're gonna miss it, but we're off to new adventures next. So thanks for watching again, and we'll see you again in the next one. Stay wiggity! Hehehehe <laughs>